Hi everyone, this is Paul Sinclair from Super Deluxe Edition. We're taking a look back at some old box sets that kind of predated really the what you might call the sort of classic area of the Super Deluxe Edition box set. These are the kind of boxes that maybe not everyone who wanted to could get hold of them at the time. Social media didn't exist, they weren't promoted as widely or as e easy to find out about. So um, so this might prove quite interesting and what we're looking at here, apart from a paper bag with a big F on it, is actually a Paul McCartney box set. It's his first, what you might call major super deluxe style box set. And it wasn't for any of his albums, it was for a Fireman album. Now, those of you who aren't aware, Paul McCartney, he does have this experimental side to him and Back in the early 90s, he created this alter ego called The Fireman. And it was a, in partnership with a youth, actually, who obviously was the founding member and bassist for Killing Joke. He played bass on uh, The Big Sky on Kate Bush's Hands of Love. He produced, he's produced lots of things, including Crowded Houses Together Alone album. You know, so he's a very interesting guy, but... The history of the fireman is Paul McCartney asked youth to take away the master tapes of his 1992 album off the ground and try and create some kind of experimental ambient style album from those multi-tracks. So that's what youth did and it became the first fireman album called Strawberries, o Oceans, Ships, Forest and this is what it looks like on CD. That's the CD of it. This came out in 93, which was a year after. Um, and it's all very kind of stompy, kind of tran transient, sort of ambient, clubby kind of mixes. It's actually my least favorite out of, he's what, out of the three albums that have been released. But I mean, this literally came and went with no, not much in the way of announcements. It was never acknowledged that this was anything to do with Paul McCartney. Um, so this is probably the lowest profile out of them. It, uh, it did come out on vinyl, I think, but that's probably even rarer than the CD, but this is something of a rarity. So that was the first album that came out. So that was 93. Now the second one, which is my favorite, is called Rushes. Again, The Fireman. Again, Youth and Paul McCartney. Uh, this was Paul's first release after uh, Linda died. So this, in terms of the chronology, this was after Flaming, the Flaming Pie album. This was 99. Flaming Pie came out in 97. Linda died, I think it was 98, wasn't it? But um, this, this album is a wonderful record. Again, there was no acknowledgement that it was anything to do with Paul McCartney it was just under the radar you had to kind of be a fan and generally be aware it did come out on vinyl as well which I don't have but again that's quite rare and this this is this is wonderful this is kind of it's hard to describe really but it's it's much more ambient than the first album it's kind of tranquility sort of kind of dreamlike sounds you know bits of guitar lots of spoken voice things there's little bits of Linda's voice actually in this. It's really quite moving. Paul did actually do a kind of an early online web broadcast when this came out, funnily enough, which, uh, as I say, it was the early days, so it only exists in a really dodgy quality. But anyway, th I think this is probably the best of the three records. So that was 99. In 2008, in 2008, the third Fireman album came out called Electric Arguments. I think it was like October or November 2008. So in terms of the timeline, I'm trying to think. It must have been after. Yes, yeah, so it was after the Memory Almost full album. I was just trying to work out the chronology there. This is the kind of cover to the normal album. I mean, what happened with this record is that Paul McCartney just, just forgot about the anonymity aspect of it to the degree that you even got this slipcase on the album you know Paul McCartney is the fireman which I think is a bit naff and it's inaccurate as well because youth is part of it but anyway 
so that's kind of like the album this is just a normal cd version but what we're looking at here what that is is the box set version now the history of this box set is that it was it was only available via paul's website you couldn't buy it anywhere you couldn't buy it on amazon you couldn't buy it in the shops you could only get it from his website and then it was delayed for six months it was supposed to come out in january 20 2009 and didn't end up being released until july or something like that and there was all sorts of faffing around and frustration from fans you know where is it i've paid my money when am i going to get my box set etc uh, the delays were put down to paul mccartney changing his mind with the uh the design and the materials used in the box set and this was an interesting exercise in a way because if you think about it band on the run came out the following year in 2010 so this is very much you know paul's manager scott roger this would have been a really interesting learning exercise about putting together a box set the manufacturing of it how it all works etc so 18 months later nearly two years later they came out with band on the run the first of the archive reissues so that aspect to it's quite interesting anyway let's take a look at the actual album so when it got delivered it came in this paper bag obviously there was another box around it but and the idea being this is sort of hessian sack type thing you're supposed to rip this top bit open but obviously no collector wants to destroy their item so um it was easier to unglue the bottom so i think i think that that was folded down like that it's quite easy to sort of gently prise this open so there you go you've still got your bag semi intact so this is kind of weird because there's nothing on it it's just a tin box i think paul wanted to replicate the idea of a kind of emi tape box which they did a little bit well a lot later on the sergeant pepper reissue of um a few years back but it wasn't made out of metal this is genuinely heavy it's very heavy can't imagine them ever doing this now the production run was probably quite small but this weighs a ton and you know it's kind of big heavy i don't know whether it's steel or tin but it's heavy it doesn't say anything on it well it is what it is it's a big heavy tin box right so you lift off the lid of this box and then inside is the first indication of what's going on this is paul mccartney typical paul's handwriting his doodles etc but it just tells you what the contents are so cd another cd with bonus tracks high resolution stereo version and um, some video content and then you get another dvd this is the interesting bit which has multi-track stems of some of the songs on the record. Paul saying this is not a pizza because obviously it's a bit like a pizza box. Enjoy it, Paul McCartney. So this 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 is stuck to the inside this this sheet. So here you get an oversized booklet. Paul and Youth did this kind of RT promo session where they were. It was all filmed, but they were in a room creating art on the wall. There's youth there, Paul. I think this is like an oversized version of the CD booklet. It's quite good, you know. So that's what that is. There's some quite cool art prints in here. So this picture here is is in that booklet this is what they were kind of kind of thing they were creating on the wall they were putting tape down and abstract design and etc so that's really quite nice there's another one there and then the album this is the album on vinyl and i think i'm pretty sure i'm correct in saying this is a 200 gram vinyl pressing which i think was uh unique to the box i can't actually remember it might even be clear vinyl i can't remember i oh, know it's not okay it doesn't actually feel like 200 gram to me but it might be so it's sort of the album's done over two records it's the second album so yeah so it's not colored vinyl or clear vinyl or anything i'm pretty sure the first fireman album the strawberries oceans forest one i think that was a clear vinyl pressing when that came out some ways there's not much to this there's a couple of art prints there's the vinyl record and then 
this bit here this gives you the optical discs i mean it says paul mccartney and youth there i mean they are the artists and then it says paul mccartney is the fireman which is a bit weird so anyway you open this up and it's all it's got a slightly homemade quality to it which i like and there are the four discs laid out for you a b c d and this tells you what's on it so you've got the cd is the album 13 track album that's the standard album and then what you've got here are you've got some bonus tracks actually so b there's b the bonus tracks some of them are quite long i mean there's a 15 minute one eight minutes dub ambient instrumentals etc so they're all unique to this you can't get them anywhere else For disc c is the high res stereo audio and a bonus dvd there is no 5.1 mix which is a bit of a shame but um you see so you get the 13 tracks which is the high res version of the album and there's a bonus remix of highway and then there's three videos and there's a 17 minute in the studio kind of feature the final disc is the data dvd it's not the whole album but you do get what do you get one two five tracks and you get the stems basically which is pretty cool i think this is the only time paul mccartney's officially released any stems for any of his music so there we have it it's quite interesting isn't it and that's that and then there's the bottom of the box and that's it so it's, it does have that kind of homemade quality i'd love to know how many of these they produced but so that's the uh record back on top a couple of nice art prints the book that and the lid goes back on and the tin goes back in the bag and that's it this is the biggest flashiest box set of any new album paul's released really have i mean i know the last album had that suitcase edition but that was full of really was full of tat this has actually got proper content which is interesting so i still think out of all his records i'm trying to think back none of none of the new albums forgetting putting aside the reissues none of the new albums have had anything like this i don't think so it's quite unique in that respect so i hope you've enjoyed this look at paul mccartney's fireman box set electric arguments this has been paul from super deluxe edition taking a look at the electric arguments box set which was released in 2009 <music>